Logan Whiskey Ball. What happened to you? <laughs> okay, can you even see? People keep looking at me weird. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're doing a gift. Both of these bottles are from Emil Lund, a magnificent bastard. Emil Lund, you magnificent bastard! Fight! Notice I want the protection move. Yeah, he did. It's <laughs> yeah. a really good move. Yeah. So um, we've done these guys before, and I'm going to tell you how you're going to remember them, and you'll be like, oh, yeah, absolutely. This was the distillery A team. In Denmark. Oh, yeah, helicopter guy. Yeah, di nine dudes, a doctor, engineer, helicopter, four other guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we always were trying to figure out which one of these guys is, is like Murdoch, and which one of these guys is walking around with a cigar. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just, it would have been funny if you had all of these epic career paths. Yeah, and then, then like some somebody dude. was HR. Yeah, <laughs> and HR. Oh, man. <laughs> helicopter pilot. Yeah. Fireman. <laughs> engineer. <laughs> HR. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. We're going to do this one first because both of these are, they do a lot of floor, their own floor malting. They're, they're nerds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're whiskey nerds. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is a limited edition uh, Madeira and Ruby Port cask yeah. and bourbon cask blend of. of well, where, where are they based? Uh, Denmark. He said port cask. Ooh. Port, Ruby Port, yeah, yeah. Madeira, yeah. and bourbon. Okay. Four years old. How could it go wrong? Yeah. Four years old and bottled at 51.5% alcohol. Now, four years in Denmark. Denmark. Which is really like uh, Two. about 10 minutes in Texas. No, yeah. <laughs> A lot of sweetness jumping out of that glass. Oh, but it smells soft though. Like it's. It's a, it's a uh, really ripe, fruity sweetness for me. Mm -hmm. Like dense peach. Yeah, it's getting peaches. Somewhere between a, a peach and a pear. They're a peach pear hybrid. And it's really, I always, really in my juicy, head, really juicy. I always think of a pear as a sandy peach. <laughs> well, I don't know why that makes sense in my head, but it's like it's got a little bit of grit to it, to the bite. Yeah, it's a different and flavor. It's a though. Little tart. Like and, the, the, yeah, the texture's sandy, but the, the flavors are different than the peach. Yeah. Hmm. Smells really good. I'm definitely getting more of the wine casks than I am of anything else. Yeah, that fruity character. I like a lot. There's a on the yeah. back end of the of the nose. Ing. There's some um, like a powdery, sugary candy. Yeah, I can see what you mean. I think. And it's I'm more still <laughs> still getting malt. Yeah, it's more malty. Good. It's at the top of the glass. Yeah, that's where all that sweet maltiness is living. You ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marcus, I go. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, the nose. Oh, sets that's you really up. nice. The nose sets you up nicely. The thing that shows up on the taste for me that wasn't on the nose. There's a little thread of a bitter note. Yeah, but it's also very clingy, sweet to me. Yeah. Like I, I get that sort of dryness, but yeah. still, it's densely sweet for me. I, I, I really like this. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. I'm looking forward to the next one now. What the hell, the next Denmark? One's smoke. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Same guys? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So, add Denmark to the list of countries that can do a damn respectable whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go in again. Um, the nose did change a little bit, though. It's less of that. If it's retro nasal, it's mm. less of that juicy fruitiness and more of the maltiness. Mmm. If you let it spread out, it's honey drizzled barley, and and then all of these fruit bowl kind of notes surrounding it. Yeah, I agree. Here's the situation with this, because it is recogni recognizably young. It, yeah, but, but, but not in an off-putting way. No, I You don't... can tell it's young, but it's still nicely put together and balanced. What's weird is I'm struggling with young, because I have a meaning for young where it's like, it's still new makey, and it, this is not new makey. So let me let me define so, it this way. It's basically these same flavors. Mm -hmm. You know the direction these flavors are going. Oh yeah, yeah. And with more maturity, you know that it's going to be much more rich and voluptuous and thick and dense. When it gets older, hmm. it's not there yet, though. This is kind of so the oxidation uh, hasn't caught up. Yes. To the finish. Yes. Okay. So it's like this. Uh, the it's like a juvenile version of something that, as a juvenile, holy hell, this is very. Uh, competent, but the whiskey. elements of new make or young no, whiskey—they're no, 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 no. not there. No, so no, no, no. By I'm not young, you mean it's just—it's not mature. Exactly. But but it's already 
really, really nice. Yeah. And it's heading in a beautiful direction. And the longer this is going to age and mature, it's going to turn even more beautiful. I think I would compare this to some of the no age statement scotches that are releasing younger than their standard numbers. Okay. So like instead of Deanston 12, if you get like a, their virgin oak is a little younger than that, I yeah. think, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. But, and so it has a little more of the grain forward notes in it. Yeah. But it's not new makey. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. Yeah, there's this window. Uh, if you're looking on in a thread scale, yeah. new make, young, mature. Yeah. Is that fair? Yes. yes, okay. yes. No, you, new make for me is a very different set of flavors and experience yeah. than what's in this bottle right now. That's what I get. Um, I, I will, let's say youthful. Youth. That's, youthful. that I feel is a, is a better because, comparison. Yeah, if young has too many uh, associations with the word, mm -hmm. youthful. It's a youthful whiskey, but uh, it is growing and maturing in a beautiful direction. Somewhere in here is a box. Mm. Why did the where did it go? Yeah, I think the ethanol would be tam tamped down and rounded off and a little bit more oh, no. voluptuous. Wait, we already went through the William Shepard box, didn't we? I don't know. In my head, it's still not done, well, but it's not in here, okay. and that means we did it. We did it. We did it. So this is it's by the this is the first uh, before we go on to the next one. This is the first time we've shot since level four is done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We graduated. 15 new level fours, first ever level fours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't want it so easy, it's like, yeah, we're level four, that right. was no big, no big deal. Yeah. But I also didn't want it so hard that it was like people who I know, I would be comfortable giving them a level four right now because their industry experience, like an yeah. honorary doctorate, right. I need them to be able to pass it. Hmm. Like I need to know that like what we've built and what we've encouraged. It's just not a bunch of gotchas and trick questions right. and weird, obscure, esoteric, Facts that nobody knows it's yeah. irrelevant. No, yeah. it's honoring people who are doing the thing we've been trying to encourage and teach people to do, yeah. and they're doing it really well. Right. And so, so that's what happened. So we, I kicked out two people before the class started. Mm -hmm. Like had a phone call and yeah. was like, "Hey, yeah. you should not take this class. Yeah. You're not going to pass." Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they both bailed. And then the class that we ended up with, as we walked in as instructors, all of us were like, "You know what? These people across the board." They're testing. These are people who do this for a living, own distilleries, mm -hmm. own retail companies, and they're doing our tests like this. <laughs> so, and they're talking, and you can hear in their voice that sort of like tightness. Yeah. When yeah, yeah. Not, like you've seen it a million times yeah. on camera yeah. when someone's trying to re do their thing, but you can feel the yeah. the muscles tightening in their throat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was like, wow, I we have... really. The average score was mid 80s. Yeah. But everybody passed. Right, right, right. But the average score was mid 80s. Okay. And that to me says, yeah, Give that me was the sweet spot. An example, <laughs> challenge, a question, like what's one of the things that you think is, for example, it's gonna be something as tricky as. The, the test questions weren't the tricks. Mm. So where people, most people got almost 100 on the t test questions. Okay. Like all the written shit yeah. was just like, hey, you know these it's things, the right? knowledge base. And like, yes, I know these things. Yeah. Um, no one got less than an A on the test. Mm. The grade downs were people who have better skill sets at certain categories than others, where we graded on blind tasting and blind assessment. Yeah. Some people did really well in those, some people just passed. Yeah. And then, then there were like bar test, retail um, tour in mm -hmm. the vault test, and a restaurant test. Mm. And on those, it was all over the map. Some people did amazing in the vault yeah. and really shitty in the restaurant, mm -hmm. but they all passed every level. But like. They excelled in here where they could spread out and tell a story. Yeah. But down there where they were restrained to matching food in a menu. We built a whole menu yeah, yeah. they had to pair with. Hmm. We built a four, a three course menu with three options in each course. Right. Because what we cared about was, is this a normal restaurant? Yeah. And can our whiskey songs suggest things with with a reason behind it? Yeah. <laughs> so this is the smoke version. Ooh, this is, is this Baird's? Local, no. It's not Baird's? This is local peat. From Denmark. That is surprisingly they smoked their own barley. Surprisingly similar to the Scotch, the Scottish peat. Yeah, it's meaty. Yeah. But then the barrels they used are <sighs> bourbon, Madeira, Jamaican rum, and new oak. All four blended together. I kind of look if you're It an, smells incredible. If you're an Isla lover, welcome to Denmark. Yeah. This is an amazing note. I think Stoning yeah. has been jumping slowly, and this is a big leap yeah. into like one of my go-to mental distilleries of like in the world of like Stunning. outside of the classic sure. that, where everyone knows everything. Right. It's like no, you guys. And you would even consider Japanese as a classic. Yeah. 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 
But Denver. like in the outlier countries who are just getting their feet wet in the whiskey world, mm -hmm. these guys are head and shoulders up. Yeah, I'm just trying to let it unroll because there's something, this one is sort of it's like this a, dense, heavy tunnel thing and I'm having a hard time stripping and unpacking the notes. So you burnt a biscuit. Yeah, it's very pastry, but. But you just set it on fire with pizza. Also smoke. Very residual, pretty. your clothes are smoky after being out next to a campfire. Campfire, smoky. and then there's like some some seaside the saltiness. I mean, the things that you like in Ireland, it's it's all here on this nose. It's not as briny, though. This is Highland peat in my. You're head. not getting brininess. No. Hmm. I'm getting more I'm of getting an earthy peat. Salty. I'm getting that briny. Yeah, I'm getting earthy too. Didn't. All right, let's try it. Okay. There's almost a citrus note in here, but it's fruit more than citrus. Oh, that's subtle. Oh, yeah. Now it tastes like Laphroaig. Now it tastes like that honey fruit with this ashy coating. Yeah. No, you'd be right at home. What if is you, the proof on this? Is you like the Isla? Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, you would be right at home. Uh, the proof is gonna be in, like in the 40s. 51. 51, how dare you? I was gonna say like 46. This No, is... no, no, I'm looking at the wrong one. 47. Ah, come on. Yeah, that's pretty on. Come on, what are we doing? Yeah, that 51 was a mystery, <laughs> till it wasn't. <laughs> Oh, it drinks softer than it noses, mm -hmm. uh, but it's still really nice. Yeah, I would say for the nose, this is my favorite of the two. For the, uh, the smoky is a favorite of the two. For the palate, the original one, the Madeira limited edition one, that palate is absolutely astounding. That's a little surprising to me because this is so much sweeter. I know, but it's complex. There's it a is. lot going mm -hmm. on. True, true. It's um, not, yeah. This is really nicely uh, put together useful, but that doesn't mean it's unenjoyable. It's yeah. very enjoyable. So that's smoke. This though, I am just enamored with the idea of Denmark yeah. making a this damn incredible. respectable smoky whiskey. Uh, they're also using smoke from heather, not just peat, oh. like plants. Yeah, they're yeah. burning shrubs, basically. Yeah. Okay. All right, no Jameson, go mental. Uh, I was in the right, like left, right, but I, I actually, <laughs> What's funny is I hit right where that bottle was. Yeah, I'm saying. And then it got stuck on the ledge and you rolled off to the don't left. Don't clean. You just, it leads to failure. <laughs> Cleaning leads to failure. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Well, so much for cleanliness is next to godliness. <laughs> <laughs> Daryl Smith with apologies. A mm. whiskey story to share. My father in his 90s mm. only, drinks, only drinks the cheapest rot gut swill of whiskey. Guckenheimer? Guckenheimer? Okay, I've tried many times to gift him decent whiskeys, but he just goes, nope, <laughs> won't touch him. I could never figure it out until I re realized that he always drank whiskey and Coke, and the particular rot gut he drank was the bar rail whiskey at the local Legion Hall bowling alley where he bowled and drank with his friends for 30 plus years. Yes. Uh, that flavor was the flavor of his younger days and his friends. The taste of that swill makes takes him back to fun and camaraderie of friends long since past. I it. doubt anyone could come up with a better reason why their favorite is their favorite. That's come on, true. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. You literally, yeah. you literally landed square on why we say the definition of good whiskey is whiskey you like and the way you like to drink it. Yeah, you're trying to fix them. It's like, dude, it doesn't get better than that. Yeah, no, there's <laughs> no, like, qualitatively better qu taste that's gonna compete with memory. That's why when I bowl, I only drink $5,000 whiskey. Yeah. So I can so be you gifted can, that. So you can live a life of disappointment. When I'm 90 years old. <laughs> for the rest of your drinking life. I can life. be gifted a $10,000 whiskey. It's like, <laughs> oh, Rex, you can't, oh, what are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> uh, hell yeah, this is awesome. Right? I, I am gonna, I want this to breathe a little bit. Yeah, that's why I'm letting it sit. Yeah, I'm curious to see what happens to it. About time. Is the name? It's not what he said. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, when you're doing the crash, when you're doing the trash can shot that we mm. all do, the key is to aim for that stain in the can and keep your eyes on it. Don't. Oh, just... aim small, miss small. Yeah, and the whole can, aim small, miss small. Well, yeah. I, you know what? Okay. Um, now, did it open let's up? Let's get into this moment. Last shot, and then you choose your. I think we're equal. Oh, on it. dude, the retro nasal. Now I'm getting like a. There's a honey bread in there now. Yeah. No, it's much sweeter, much fruitier. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's good. It actually, now that I'm not AB comparing with a higher proof, there's more flavor in that second one. Yeah, there is. I still, I gotta go with the smoky. This is they lovely. came so close to a classic Isla. Mm. <laughs> Even though I, I still think that that peat note is more earthy, it still drinks like a budget Laphroaig or a budget Ardbeg. Okay, now here's the situation. Yeah. Uh, 
I, I'm impressed. Yeah. I like this distiller. It's very exciting. I love the fact that it's Denmark. It's like yeah. people are going to say, what's a weird place like Denmark? Denmark. The, from now on. The name is so forgettable. Stoning? Is that the name? Well, Stoning. maybe not in Denmark. <laughs> maybe it's a Danish name. I don't know. Your Danish language is forgettable. I, 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 I promise you. <laughs> I love this. I'm never going to remember Stoning. Yeah, because it's not your native language. Nope. I can speak. You just said the most American thing. I can speak Denmark. I speak Denmark so good and hard. You said the most American thing that we've ever said on this channel. You know, other country, you need a more memorable English sounding name. This is me helping. (laughs) Call it it helicopter guy whiskey. Because the moment you said helicopter guy, I was like, oh, yeah, I got you. Yeah. All right. This is is very good. It's impressive. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. Come on, you would remember a helicopter if you guy. Just put a sticky note on it that says helicopter guy whiskey. <laughs> if you wait, if you fight me a fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your liver's heart. <laughs> and if you drink, may you drink with us.